Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Monday the 11th of September. I'm Nigel Croft. In this short video, we'll be looking at the charts on the Hang Seng Index. What we'll see is that we're about to get a push up through resistance into new high ground. <music> So here we have the daily chart on the Hang Seng. So each candle represents one day's trade. And you can see that uh, we're very much in an uptrend. We're getting this continual pattern of higher highs and higher lows. Uh, the moving averages have been all positive really since we had the Golden Cross, uh, which was actually back in January, uh, 20th of January there and potentially there, which was the 11th of Jan. So um, it all does look good um, in the respect of an uptrend and the momentum all moving in an upward direction. What we've had today is um, we've had the, the market last week pull back to the rising 20 day moving average, which is this yellow line. And we've had a push up from that. We have got some resistance that needs to be broken uh, with the high of the 28th of August, uh, just above 20, um, just above 2850 um, that uh, will cause some resistance. But uh, we expect the momentum to break that. Uh, very good when you do get a move up from these moving averages. I've talked about it a lot in previous videos, what I call the trampoline effect. You come down and then you bounce off the rising moving average and you can get quite a substantial move. Um, looking at the momentum indicators here on the daily, um, the RSI is back above 50, 61.8, although really it is, uh, it's not indicative of an uptrend, uh, but it is showing positive momentum above 50, but is uh, really just trending sideways on that positive momentum, which isn't a surprise given the, the length of the up upswing that we've had. Uh, MACD actually at the moment are tracking down uh, because of the movements last week. But it'll only take a, a day or two of, of the continuation of today's uptrend and they will they will swing around and uh, be, be more positive. Moving to the weekly. Uh, here again, the moving averages are all positive. Um, maybe it's marginally getting slightly left behind, but nothing to worry about as yet. You can see that there is resistance um, up to about... Um, 20 well nearly 28,000 from the period of April 15 um, where there, where there was a actually a double top um, that could cause a bit of indigestion but as I said the momentum is strong here the RSI is at 71.3 and the MACD although they've flattened over the last couple of weeks as we've gone sideways um, are still showing positive momentum. On the short term, looking at the four hour chart, so each candle here represents four hours trade. Um, you can see that actually the moving averages, the shorter term, the 20 and the 50 have rolled down. Uh, the 20 is moving back up now. And uh, it'll be interesting to see in a couple of days when they cross, if the index holds up, whether the 20 and the 50 are both rising when they cross. That would be, again, a golden cross, which would be positive, and that, that could very well give the push through the resistance uh, that we're seeing. Um, RSI in an uptrend, um, above 50, 66.13, and indicative of positive momentum, and the MACD as well here, here are positive. Let's have a look at the uh, where the support and resistance levels are. And um, we've got resistance uh, from last 28th of August, a couple of weeks ago, 28.058. And then that 27th of April, that's actually 2015, um, that previous high, 28.607. The supports come in at 27.613, which is the 20-day. 
and then I've put in the 200 from the 4 hour at 27,483. So we've had a good look at the Hang Seng. Um, the moving averages are very positive and it does look like that resistance, especially for 28th of August, will be tested and then we'll be testing the resistance from April 2015. Just to clarify the key takeaways from the video, we do expect a break up through resistance. We're getting a push from those moving averages. Momentum's turning positive again and the moving averages on the four hour, we do expect a golden cross. Many thanks for watching this video. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please do click subscribe. You then get email updates uh, when I come out with more videos um, so you can, you can get online and, and watch them very quickly. Please remember these videos are for education only and in my opinion, and they're not an investment recommendation. Please read the disclaimer.